What's up, Mortgage Coach community? Today, I am interviewing Mark Robertson. What's up, Mark? Hey, how's it going, Dave? Thanks for having me, man. Good, good man. Well, it's, I guess it's been a long time. Had lunch at uh, Sales Mastery with you. Um, yeah. Yeah, it seems, uh, yeah, gosh, time goes quick, man. <laughs> God, it's already like time to book your uh, hotel for next year, Sales Mastery. I know. Crazy. For me. So, so, guys, I'm interviewing Mark because he's killing it. He did 65 million last year. He's on track, planning to do what, 15 or did you say 12 or 15 million this month? Uh, I'll probably do between 20 and 10 and 12. Uh, I've got a couple refis that who, who knows, but um, yeah, probably be between 10 and 12 this month. Well, needless to say, you're killing it. 65 million a year. If you're, how, if you're watching this, how would you like to be trending where you're closing between six and 12 million a month in production. That's, that's what we want to do. So, so Mark, I just want to interview you a little bit on you know, how long you've been in the business, a little bit about your mortgage practice, and then let's get into some specific stories and strategies with Mortgage Coach. Yeah, man, I've been in the business for, uh, this is probably, this is my 15th year, I guess, in the business. I started in the appraisal side and got recruited over to the mortgage side. I was, I was just in appraisals for a hot minute. And then, uh, you know, I've been in San Diego almost that entire time. I've always, uh, you know, my, my real, my realtors have always provided 80% plus of my business. And then, you know, the longer that I'm in the business, you know, the, the more and more powerful my past clients have become. Um, and, uh, you know, there's nothing really flashy about my mortgage practice. I just, you know, I've been doing the same things, uh, for years, you know, leveraged event every single week. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm updating my entire database personally still every single week uh, on every single transaction that we have going on. And, you know, that's still my number one business builder year over year. So, um, you know, I, I've been saying that I've been a really transparent guy for, you know, way before it was cool, uh, you know, way back uh, when I first started in the business. So I'd say if that's a differentiating factor, my style's become more and more attractive, um, I think, as time has gone on, just because that's kind of how I've, I've always operated. Um, and, I would, you know, I would say that's, that's probably a, a decent, uh, you know, bookend about my business and who I am and, and how we operate. Well, that's probably one of the reasons why you use Mortgage Coach is we've always represented a next level of transparency, you know, showing the cost of a loan over three years, five years, 15 years. I mean, it's a way to, to show next level transparency. Is that part of why you uh, joined our team and used the total cost analysis? 100%. You know, it, it's, uh, it's one of those things where I still to this day can probably only do five or 6% of what Mortgage Coach does, but it's such a valuable and powerful tool, especially now, right? Uh, I think if uh, most of us that you talk to there's a big rate disparity that that's going on. It's more important than ever for us to be an actual advisor to clients, um, especially for clients. You know, like I, I was talking to a buddy today that was referred to me by another buddy at Banner uh, Bank who, who sent me a, a one of his friends. Um, and he got a quote from Quicken that was like, I don't know, probably uh, a quarter to a half better than what I had. And, and when I actually took a look at it, the amount of origination uh, that was on that and the, and the client was a financial advisor, very, very savvy guy, but just didn't, didn't look really at anything because it was just kind of sizing up a few different options. And to like lay that out and show the cost versus us and the cost and the pros and cons of each. I think when clients can see something visually and it, it's so much more impactful because when, when they just hear it on the phone, they still are just thinking in terms of rate. And it's really hard to actually be an advisor because you know what you're talking about. And the client always wants to answer as if they know what they're talking about. But Mortgage Coach really allows me to say, hey, are you in front of a computer? Let's screen share real quick. I want to put this in front of you so that you can really understand the difference. I understand that you're telling me, yes, you do. But in two seconds, I can put all that stuff in there. And then really have a meat and potatoes conversation with a client. <clears throat> so for me, it's, it's been imperative because, um, you know, in a world where people are just barraged with, uh, with things coming at them, the only thing that is coming at them from the mortgage world is rate. And so 
I think to really educate a client and really get transparent, like you say, you need a tool like this. And, and this tool is, is amazing. It's, it's been uh, instrumental in my business. So pivot for everybody to hear that is when you think of mortgage coach, it really is just that pivot, like an advisor, what makes an advisor an advisor? They're focusing on long-term, you know, they're not just saying, Hey, here's your transaction. Every loan officer is selling transaction rate payment cash to close. When you pivot and you focused on cost over time, different mortgage strategies over time, how to prepay your mortgage faster over time. Now you become an advisor. So I love, I love that. Now you may have given us your scripting right now, but if you do have some scripting, I would love to hear, you know, how you position yourself and how you position a total cost analysis so that when the family clicks on it, you know, they know what they're getting. You know, what, what is your, and if you don't use scripts, what are some talking points? Are there some key phrases that you use a lot as your positioning mortgage coach? How would you answer that? Yeah. My favorite is, uh, you know, Hey Dave, are you in front of a computer right now? Um, that, Almost always, you know, whether it's a real estate agent that I'm talking to or a client, you know, the answer is no, but I'm on my phone or, or I can be. Um, and that's my favorite. That's my like go to line. And people are impressed that I just build it right in front of them. OK, you know, hey, tell me your current mortgage. Tell me what you're paying in rent, you know, and here's roughly where rates are right now. And in 10 minutes, you know. I can have this, this thorough conversation with them. So that's a, that's a kind of a script or a go-to line, but it really just kind of depends situationally. Another, a, another script that I would use is, well, Hey, you know, what I want to do is put a presentation together and it will take 15 or 20 minutes for us to go it. But I want to visually show you the pros and cons of each of these options, because I find it so much easier, especially to your point, Dave, to see the long-term value of different choices that you're making now. So many people that do what I do for a living will, will just, you know, talk about the rate or the transaction. But I think it's really important to talk about what, what, where the market's headed, what this choice means for you now, but also 15 years from now or 30 years from now. And um, not only do we need to talk about the rate, but we need to talk about your net worth or, you, you know, what, whatever the situation is. And, there's different things that I use situationally. Also, you know, taxes and, and the implications of taxes, at least in my market, when you're dealing with, with, uh, with jumbo loans and, and multiple houses, it starts to get more layered. And so being able to talk people through that, um, it, it's, it's invaluable, like I said. So I don't know if that answers your, your question. That's correct. No, no <laughs> it, it does. It does. Well, let's do this. I want to get a little more on the, Hey, are you in front of a computer? And then knowing that people are watching this on video, I mean, it's the mortgage coach community of could be a new loan officer, could be an experienced mortgage coach that just got a new idea. Hey, are you in front of a computer? Why don't you pull up your computer? And, and I assume that when you say that you're, you send them an email with a link, is that pretty much what they get? Or do you text it? How do you do it? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll send them an email without the link actually and say, Hey, when are you going to be in front of a computer? And then I'll actually use the same platform that you and I are using now zoom to screen share with them. Uh, and I can record the whole thing and send it to them afterwards. Uh, what I love about that is that I've gone through it with them real time. Um, I've, I've answered a lot of their questions. They can revisit it if they want to. So it's efficient. Um, what I don't like about it is I can't see when they're clicking on it. So if I send them the link, you know, the beautiful thing that you guys have done is I know every time they're clicking on that. Um, but when I just do it with zoom, I don't. So, um, mortgage coaches be aware. Yeah. And, and, and to me, I'm a big believer of just different channels. There's a time where zoom is great. I use zoom. I create zoom videos. And then there's a time where a mortgage coach link with a video added to it, like the rent versus zone that you're going to show us is better because I, I want to know when they're clicking on it, I want to know who they're sharing it with, and I want the video to be within the TCA. So I just think it's, it's tailored. You know, just like it's important to know when I should email someone and when I should text someone. You know, you, you've got you've to use it. And, and by the way, a video just like a text video, like go to text, send a video to someone. There's a time to, to give a text video. It's, it's about yeah. tailored communication based off of, how that realtor 
or how that family wants to be communicated with. Yeah, it's so true. Yeah. And it, it's all situational for me, but um, we're using all those avenues. Um, so, so pull up a TCA. I'll tell you what I see. Your do this. All right. So tell us the story and the strategy um, behind it. All right, so yeah, this, um, this is a typical TCA. Uh, we love uh, our veterans, we love our military families. So this, is, this particular deal is a, um, is a, a VA deal uh, with, the, with the funding fee financed in there, as you can see. So I'm just uh, I'm using this to educate the client and my scripting around this uh, would be something to the effect of, hey, look, the 3.875, deal that you are receiving right now is a great deal, but I also want you to consider the 4.375 deal. You see the difference here uh, in payment every single month and the difference in tax benefit. Um, and so I, I personally believe, and I'm wrong a lot, Dave, but I personally believe that the market is going to cool off and that things are going to soften a little bit. And if that happens, I also personally believe that rates will come down. Um, and so there may be an opportunity to restructure this debt uh, 212 days down the road at no cost to you and your family. Let's just think about, based on your situation, what is more important to you right now? Because what I often find is that every single client that comes to me, Dave, wants the same exact thing, and that is the lowest interest rate. But they don't know what that means, and they, they don't slow down enough. To look at it on paper what what does it mean you know how, is it is it uh more comfortable for you to come in to the with your cash to close at nine grand or 854 uh and it you know the cost of doing that is a hundred and and what 240 dollars whatever the difference is there but so this is like a typical uh scenario that what i would pull up for a va borrower sorry my camera's over here i keep looking at you that i would pull up for a va borrower and run through these things um, and you know every single person comes to me wanting that but I find that after I explain it in that way and they say well what do you mean you think that rates are gonna go down and what does a, a no-cost refi mean and then you know they start to let the guard down and you can actually have a conversation that empowers that family so if I can truly focus on okay hey, now they're open let me totally educate this person um, even when uh, other people might be able to beat me a little bit in, in rate, they're not providing this level of service and that level of education. And more often than not, the client always chooses us and that client becomes a, a client for life because then we do a very good job also of monitoring that debt from, from the time uh, that they close the loan on, you know, anytime that there's a, a market rally, we're in front of them. So, so a couple things, mortgage credit community, if you could scroll to the top, I just want everybody to see, I mean, this is a personally branded, no, all the way where we see your photo, personally branded advice experience. It's got its photo, company brand, rent versus own, showing the benefits of owning over renting, and then, and then cost over time. I mean, when you look at the cost difference over five years, we're talking $3,883. And you netted that out, like, you know, like, would you like this closing cost? Or would you like this one? And the cost over five years is $3,833. Uh, which for everybody watching this, one of the, there's a, I'll put a link down below, an interview I did with a, a loan officer that gets, you know, they compete all the time with lenders that have lower rates than them. Just like you mentioned, Quicken. And he'll put the online lender in his program in column one, the online lender in column two. And then he'll show, look, Here's the payment difference. Here's the rate difference. That's three thousand dollars over five years, or whatever the number is. That's five thousand dollars over five years. Am I worth? Is the service I'm delivering, the the value I'm bringing to the table, worth whatever that five year value is? And usually, it is. Now, sometimes, like if it's over, he says anything under five thousand over five years, they go with me. Anything when it gets close to ten, I've got to do a pricing exception. But at least. It's not a full price exception. So guys, this is a great takeaway. I love the way you're delineating these two programs. Link down below to the how to win, even when you don't have the lowest rate. Uh, also, I'm gonna put a link down below to another rent versus own analysis that I did for any loan officer that really wants to go deep with rent versus own. 
I'm going to put a link down below to an interview I did last week that's crazy. It's just a great way to walk a family, first time home buyer, through a rent versus own. Anything else you want to say on this before we go to the next one? Uh, not really. This one's uh, pretty standard. You know, that, that's a general idea of what I'm doing. I will say that, you know, it, that resonates with me so much. I, there was a, a time, you know, uh, where I was, uh, I don't know, I just got in a, a place where I was kind of in, in, insecure about some of the rate disparities. But if you're putting that competitive uh, person in here, you know, you, you mentioned Quicken, I mentioned Quicken. What they're doing a lot is they're quoting things with one, two, three points on it with a lower rate. When you put that in here and actually show it to the client who a lot of times has no idea, they're done. Like you've eliminated that competition when you can illuminate everything and truly empower the client, which, you know, Mortgage Coach is just an amazing tool to stack things side by side and just say, hey, look, let's go here and, and look at these origination fees and how they differ. This is what it means to you. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great tool for doing that. Yeah, and pro tip for everybody listening to this, if you know you're competing with online lender or big bank, always have a two-point option, you know, so that you're showing different rates. And so, another pro tip, if you're doing a prequal, you know, show three different options at different rates, kind of like what the rate is today, quarter three is higher, quarter three is lower, so that they're, when they're seeing you, they're, you're, you're becoming – Shop for your mortgage, make an informed decision on my platform, you know, and I've got a platform that's designed to educate you. So let's see another total cost analysis. Cool. Uh, here is one. Let's see here. Let me pull up you. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's one that I run into a lot. So, you know, going back to advisor, I do a lot of portfolio business, which is just, uh, you know, doing things that are you know, slightly high on the debt to income side. And, and what I'm doing a ton of is making buyers who would otherwise be contingent, non-contingent. So this summary right here is for some clients of mine who owned a home and they were going to turn that into a rental. A house fell in their lap that they, they were not you know, planning to buy, but just had to have this house. Um, and so they came to me just saying, Hey, how can we do this quickly? And at, at Caliber, we've got a product where you can put 5% down if you're really well qualified, up to $2 million. And this place, I think, was at 2.1. And so, um, you know, the product at, at no mortgage insurance is right around 6%. And so that would normally turn a lot of people off. But what I was able to do with this scenario is say, hey, look, at, at 2.1, this would allow you guys with the money that you have in your bank to finance a million eight ninety with no mortgage insurance, total payment all in thirteen seven. Um, and here's what it would be if you were putting twenty percent down. Uh, you know, market rates are in the low fours. It's about a three thousand dollar difference. But then when I'm doing a comparison, I, I said, hey, well we have to make apples to apples comparisons here. So let's just say that the loan amounts were the same, so you guys can see exactly what you're paying. And what is the difference here? You know, let's just call it 2000 bucks. And you have to keep this loan for six months. In this case, they had a paid off investment property that they were going to sell. They were then going to pay the taxes on that money, dump it in here. Uh, there was a lot of tax consequences with that. This didn't end up coming together. But my point is by going through these two scenarios and saying, hey, the difference is $2,000. And you're having to keep this loan for six months. So let's just say it's $12,000. That's the, the two grand a month in payment difference times the six month. Is this opportun opportunity worth $12,000 to you? And I have to tell you, Dave, slowing down, putting this visual in front of someone and being able to quantify in a dollar amount for the consumer what an opportunity is going to cost them because they were not ready to buy. They didn't have 20% down to put on this property, but it has been so amazing for me. Uh, it, it, you know, I did $20 million of this portfolio product and a lot of people are like, Oh, Mark, they're higher rates. They're this, they're that, they're, they're the other thing. But 
it, it's honestly the best decision that a lot of people can can make to take these higher rates in certain situations because in some cases like in this consumer's case it means getting this house or not getting this house because there was no way there was so much competition on this property there was no way that they were going to take a contingent offer they had no other way to get this cash out quickly from the houses um, this was the only way that they could do it. And there, uh, you know, I could, I could give you several other examples where, you, you know, I had a client who was going to put the 20% down, but they were taking 20% out of their retirement, even though they were of retirement age. Well, now that 20%, the $200,000 they have to put down is going to be taxed on as income. So 200,000 times 20%. You can do the math. It's 40 grand. 40 grand is a lot more than the $12,000 I just told you the opportunity was. So, you know, I think by looking at people's situations and really analyzing what this transaction means for them more than the interest rate and then showing it to them in a visual and very slowly walking them through it to make sure that they understand the same thing that you're understanding. And when it gets a little more complicated pulling their financial planner in and showing them this same scenario turned out that that the the second example that i gave you where the gentleman was going to take money out of his retirement he was also on cover california health insurance so his health insurance was going to go up because you know he was going to be taking so you know there's all these other implications and so um i find that equalizing these things to really put in perspective what an opportunity is going to cost someone it makes the decision making so much uh easier to do yeah so guys here, here's hopefully your takeaway if you're a referral based local mortgage professional you need to become a mortgage wizard i mean just hearing mark talk he's an expert he's not a loan officer he's a mortgage strategist and, and he's, he's starting from the back, like, okay, family, what do you want to accomplish here? And, and he's starting from, okay, how do I make that happen? How do I create this opportunity for you over time? You know, and, and then he's netting out the benefits. He's showing. The best situation. Oh, sorry about that. Well, I'm going to sound on you there for a second. Yep. Yeah, my headset just went dead. Can, oh, you, can, no. you, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yep. Okay. So he understands that the lowest rate doesn't always equal the most net worth over time. And, and, and that's unintuitive. I mean, most families don't understand that. Most realtors don't understand that. Most loan officers don't understand that. I can assure you most big bank, online lenders, loan officers – don't understand that. So this is your competitive advantage. Get smart on your non-QM products and opportunities and become a mortgage wizard and be able to present those in a way that the family understands the bigger opportunity. So I'm glad that you did this. I love this strategy. Um, let's do one more before we wrap it up. Sure, let me uh, look at another one here. And, and guys, if you have questions for Mark, I'm going to interview him again, I can tell. Uh, <laughs> post them down below. If you're getting a takeaway, if Mark's shared some scripting like that, hey, are you online? Let me send you a link. I would advocate that you send the mortgage coach link. Have them click on that. Because by the way, you can click that from your mobile phone, from your desktop. They click on it. You can see that they're viewing it. Uh, you can add a video to it. It's a dynamic link. It's it's optimized regardless of what device they're on. If they're on a, a mobile phone, it's going to look great on a mobile phone. If they're on an iPad, it's going to look great on an iPad. But send them a link and then walk them through their options. And, and the cool thing about the mortgage coach link is that as you change the numbers, it changes. And then, yeah. and then remember, you're getting them hooked on it. So like, let's say it's a pre-approval and you, you gave them their options and now they're at a house. They're like, hey, will you, will you update my total cost analysis? On your mobile phone, on your desktop, you can update the total cost analysis. So, so Mark, what else we got? All right. So uh, this is the seller buy down that uh, man you you've had just so many great people on. I you know I, I saw the, the one with uh, I, I've seen several. Um, man, John Downs is a good looking dude. He's really good on camera too, isn't he? 
Yeah, Dave, can you hear me? By, by the way, my headset went out. Oh, got it. Can you hear me? Uh, so this is a uh, this is basically a seller buy down, um, and I used this to actually solicit. To actually, do this. Um, so are you back with me, Dave? Can you hear me? You back? back? I'm back. Keep it going, man. Okay. So uh, I was lucky enough, I had a realtor invite me in to, to meet these builders and uh, that they were very nervous about the timing. Uh, and I, I basically just said, hey, look, here, here is where you're at. How much room do you have? And I, I circulated this uh, seller buy down internally to show them what $50,000 could do. I basically said, hey, your purchase price is a million three seventy at twenty percent down at four and a quarter. That puts a prospective buyer's all-in payment at seventy one ninety one. And if you were to reduce the price and keep everything exactly the same, two hundred and forty six dollars lower. However, if you use that same fifty grand, look at what you could do for a potential buyer. We could get them a thirty year fixed at three point three seven five percent fixed forever at 20% down a savings of $546. Now the, the builder's ears perked up so big because that interest rate is just so smoking like that to see those rates and to even be able to visit that with a potential buyer. Um, it gave him a lot of confidence uh, about what he was doing. Right? So $546 savings, he would have had to have sold that same condo at a million two thirty one um, to get those same payments. So this was a presentation where I was getting a, a look with this builder. I brought something that we've all discussed here several times, right? I feel like some of us, hey, you know, seller buy down, like everyone's doing it. Like it, I mean, how much, how many times have we covered it just in this community alone, right? But when you go to a partner and you say, hey, look, here's how much it could uh, affect things. Um, and so I, I, I called this my payment strategy. And then I did another one at 5% down using that portfolio product with the buy down, buying the, the loans way down. And I called that one my cash strategy. So scripting, really important. Hey, you know what? There's two strategies that I've thought about that I want to help you unload this product. I know that you're worried about the timing of the product. I've heard that. I have two optimal scenarios here. One is a cash strategy and one is a payment strategy. Here's what I'd like to show you first. And I show them this one. Hey, this is the payment strategy. Your typical borrower has 20% down. Uh, you know, this is a, a fantastic deal. Look, you're getting them 3.375. If I take that same $50,000 at 5% down, now we're talking about a cash strategy. There are a lot of people in my market who can totally afford the payment. They just haven't been making money for a really long time. They don't have 20% down on a million three, but they have 5% down. What would this $50,000 do for them? So I presented these two options to the Love builders. This. And it was, it was like, uh, you know, the feedback that I got from them was so positive in that they, uh, said things like, hey, you really listened and took the time to understand and came up with a concept that was helpful to us. So I, I feel like if other people can use that, especially with a, a savvy client who it's going to resonate with, look, there's two different strategies here. We've got this low down payment option and here's what we can do with that. And we've got this low uh, monthly cash flow option. So I call it the, the payment strategy and the cash strategy. So I'm going to headline this whole thing is, you know, something about turning creative financing into a competitive advantage with Mike Robertson, because guys, that's the common theme here. He's using creative thinking, creative finance strategies, and then he's providing solutions for people. And I interviewed Scott Nicholson today at nine o'clock. I, I know you've heard him because I know you were influenced and that was one of the people that you learned this from. But he took it to a whole new level, you know. Like he, he, he talked wait. about how to how to turn the seller buy down into you know leads from realtors, leads from builders, and then he he 
announced a new online website, Seller Buy Down Online, and how to how to be the you know seller buy down digital mayor of your market. Uh, and and really, when you really net it all out, it comes down to being being a mortgage guru, and tailoring strategies, and and just explaining these strategies is not enough. That's that's first of all, it's not as valuable for the family. It's not as valuable for the builder when you you have a presentation, graphs and charts, cost over time, your picture, a video streaming into it. You know, so that that is a digital mortgage educational experience. So, man, you, you're killing it. Um, anything else you think we need to show on this one? And, or have you done the seller buy down in any other ways? You know, just like, you don't have to pull another one up, but is this your most oh, recent? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I would strongly recommend uh, the combo of Zoom and Mortgage Coach. I just feel like it, it allows you to, uh, to put those, uh, those videos out. I'll, I'll, I'll look at, uh, you know, I, I have an alert on my phone for when there's a price drop and anytime there's a price drop, especially if, uh, if, if I'm, um, in a mode where I'm trying to get busy, I, I feel like I'm either busy or trying to get busy either way. I'm busy. Right. But, uh, then I'll just quickly shoot that, that real estate agent, a video that's tailored. Hey, I saw your property at one, two, three main street. I saw that you guys took a $25,000 price reduction. Look, if it's useful to you at all, Dave, in the future, I'd love it. If you, uh, if you just talk with me for a minute, look, here's what we could have done with this $25,000. And you know, if I can ever be of help, I'd love to sit down with you and explain this more. Just a quick little video, right? Uh, and those small things over time, makes such a big difference. Then you see them at an event, then you bump into them on the, on the listing side, then you're updating them every single week. And that, those really small moves and just doing them consistently are what's going to make a really big difference, uh, over, over your career. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that on a seller buy down. Um, I, what, I would love, what I would love for you to do is here, here is the actual post from this morning. We did it on Facebook live at our mortgage coach group. I would love if you would share that seller buy down in comments. Uh, remember folks, earlier in the call, I mentioned a couple um, other videos that I'm gonna put in here. I, I, you gotta listen to this um, rent versus own. So an amazing first time home buyer conversation. Uh, this interview I just did with Josh Metal on the art and science of personal connection, money. And then- uh, You know what's money? Josh Metal's hair. That's what's money. Yeah, right? Right? Uh, that's good. Uh, it, is, it is money. Uh, so good. If, you, if you ever run into situations where you're competing and you don't have the lowest rate, make sure you study this particular LinkedIn article and you listen to this. I, I think we broke it up. We've got like a 15-minute interview and then the four minutes where it's just a pure strategy to you know, reduce rate shopping. Check that out. So also, are you okay with giving me the links that you've shown and if I put those down below so we actually are providing the links to yeah. people who are watching this? Yeah, absolutely, man. All right, well, let's stop sharing your screen. Okay. And let's wrap this up. So, so folks, if you've got a takeaway, like it on digital social land, that's how we know you got value. Share it with your mortgage friends. Get the word out that you need to be a mortgage coach. Also get the word out that if you don't know how to talk about seller buy down strategies, if you don't know how to talk about non-conforming, non-conventional loans and put those, you're, you're not a black belt. Like, like you may be a purple belt in mortgages, but you're not a black belt that is really preparing yourself not only to optimize today, you know, like you're not going to be able to optimize your past customer database if you can't come up with these solutions. You're not going to be able to maximize the referrals that you get from your current real estate agents if you're not coming to them with seller buy down, non-conventional financing strategies. Let me show you how I'm going to create clarity and value for your buyers. You're just, you know, you're just missing a lot of loans every single month. So, you know, this is your call. Any last words of wisdom for the community before we wrap it up? No, I would say that, you know, I was a little bit apprehensive uh, with Mortgage Coach because it was just one more thing to learn. And there's, uh, you know, so many things that are thrown at us, especially technology, especially today. 
but I just chipped away at it, uh, you know, and I still don't consider myself an expert, but it does not take long, a day to max of doing a few of these with clients you feel comfortable with and the, the value add over time of just being able to demonstrate these things. Uh, you know, I've seen people with the most sophisticated Excel spreadsheet, but like no matter what the spreadsheet is, and I still use some to this day, behind the scenes, but my client facing stuff is always mortgage coach. And so I would just say, you know, if you're new, uh, watch a few of these videos, put some together and get going because it does not take long before it's like, oh man. And, and even some of the loan officers that I, I mentor, you know, once we get going and do a few of these, I'll, I'll help them at, at the beginning. But then it's like, oh man, you know, this is not hard at all. It's very easy. And it just ups your game so much to the client. Yeah, and here's the deal, guys. It, it, you can do it 10 times, and not 10 times over 10 months, 10 times over like five days, 10 days, and then it's it saves you time. I've never interviewed someone like Mark where they wouldn't say, you know what, it takes me more time not to use Mortgage Coach, and it risks the wow factor, it risks the client for life, it risks the price exception, it risks that I'll even win the business. So. Uh, Hey, man, I appreciate you taking time to bring this leadership, and uh, I look forward to our next interview. Appreciate you, bud. Thanks so much, Dave. Appreciate what you do. Take care, man. Cheers.